Tom. Welcome to a brand new week. I'm currently sitting here on the floor because I have to have access to this computer a lot because I'm try still trying to figure out the issues I had from yesterday. Uh, basically, like the, the last thing I recorded yesterday was me just about to go to bed because I was just done with this. So, I let the computer rest overnight. I turned it on, still had the issue. I reinstalled the drivers, the issue seemed fixed. I go to play GTA, and, and aside from the, the card getting pretty hot, it works fine. The, like, everything in the game works fine. And then I do some benchmarking tests on Hitman 2, and then it crashed again. So, I've taken the card out, I've taken this card out, the, uh, the RTX uh, 2080 Ti, and I put in my old GTX 1080 Ti in, uh, in the, the gaming computer here. And currently, I'm running the benchmark test on it over and over again just to make absolutely sure that it's going to stay working. So, if, that, if this stays working, it could be other things. It could be something else that's going wrong other than the graphics card. Because it, it might be like some, some kind of interaction with the power supply. It could be like a cable that plugs in to uh, the, the graphics card that's like not putting out the proper amount of power. But right now, signs are pointing, pointing towards it being the graphics card. And I think like... I think what I'm going to end up doing is cashing in on the warranty for this thing. Cashing in on the warranty, getting a new one, plugging it in, downloading all the drivers, all that jazz... And then like playing GTA or like running the or running the Hitman 2 benchmarking uh, program again, you know, just to make sure. Because if then it breaks, then it's I then then it's just some weird interaction that the graphics card is having with the with either the motherboard or the power supply. It could be either of those. It's really bizarre. Aside from that, I'm also I've also got like Steven's uh, Steven's vlog up here. I've been. Whenever I've been like editing or anything like that, I've just been I've pulled those up and I'm just like, you know what? I might as well watch from the very beginning. And I'm about I'm I'm four hundred according to this, I'm four hundred and eighty seven days in, so someday I'll be in the present. And then the, well no, I'll be in twenty eighteen, then the timeline will split and then I'll be in the present. It makes sense if you've been watching Steven's vlog. <sighs> this has been one hell of a journey trying to figure all this out. My buddy Chenzo, K had uh K had one six one uh, was helping me a lot with this last night. So I've been like, I'm super grateful to him for like, for everything. And like, he kind of helped me determine that it wasn't the motherboard that was an issue because like, we tested a bunch of stuff with the motherboard. But, since the 1080 Ti is working with this, I've mentioned, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but still, I'm, I'm very confident right now that, that it is the, the 2080 Ti that's the issue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it replaced. Aside from that, the, the entire this has been the entire day pretty much. I woke up, uh, you know, got ready for the day, you know, showered and all that jazz. Um, ordered food. I ordered like from a from a Tex-Mex place, and uh, I ordered like fajitas. It was a lot of food. I've got leftovers down in the fridge. Um, I basically count as my lunch and dinner, and then I just started to work on this and like keeping tabs on all this. I was planning on recording some Fire Emblem tonight. That ain't gonna happen. And also, and I didn't stream tonight either, so I've got to like make up for that at some point too. So my week is going to be crammed with a bunch of stuff that got interrupted because my my graphics card decided to, to uh, crap out on me. The room is a mess right now. I got to clean that up once I once I get all this sorted out. And uh, yeah, I'm also probably gonna. I'm also like looking to invest in a uh, in uh, a uh, USB switch. And by switch, I mean like something I could plug a couple USB devices in, and then it goes, and then the outputs to two separate computers. And the reason for that is because you may have seen it on my desk already. I've got that keyboard, I've got this keyboard, and I've got these two mice. And I I have a program that goes between the two uh, the two computers, so I could just use one mouse. It's super obnoxious. It's really obnoxious, and I would have just I should have just gone with like the physical solution much earlier on, but. I didn't. So once I, you know, once I get this settled, once that the gaming computer is back up and running again, then I'll probably look into the uh, the USB switch. But for now, I gotta figure all this out. That's probably gonna be the rest of my night too. Let's move on to tomorrow, shall we? It is Friday, and uh, I'm a little bit over my uh, my graphics card, computer, whatnot, being kind of like on the fritz there. Um, 
The, uh... So yeah, on uh, on Wednesday I did stream because, like I said, it was my gaming computer that was uh, that was on the fritz, not uh, not my streaming, recording, and editing computer. Uh, so I streamed the rest of Link's Awakening, 100%ed it completely. I got um, all the chamber stones, heart pieces, secret seashells, uh, and all the figures in the uh, the um, trendy game. And uh, I, I don't like how some of the unlockables like depend on uh, on RNG, like um, like for. Uh, some of the chamber stones and hard containers, like the fishing mini game, you have to, a specific fish have to be there, and like a specific size fish has to be there. So it's a little, uh, it's it's a little touch and go on that one. I also like am kind of got mixed feelings on like the way a final boss, or not really the final on how the final boss is, because it, it's basic, it's trial and error, like trying to experiment with what uh, weapons will work on that boss. Um, so, like, uh, spoilers for those who haven't played it yet, um, but the Boston 3 is, is in several phases, um, and there's one phase where you can only, if you want to figure this out yourself, you know, don't watch this part, jump ahead to this timestamp here, um, there's one phase where you where you have to damage it by using magic powder, and it's not clear that you have to use magic powder. And there's another phase where you have to uh, hit it with only spin attacks with your sword, and it's not clear that you have to do that. Like, the game should teach you, like, when to exactly use these things, and I don't think it did a very good job of doing that. There was one boss, maybe it was a mini-boss, and I think it was only in the color dungeon, that was a, uh, a buzz blob. <clears throat> that you had to hit with magic powder because like that was that was like they sort of like allude to that once you get the magic powder there's a blo buzz blob immediately outside of the witch's hut throw magic powder on that and it changes so you fight a giant buzz blob and then you can throw magic powder on that and that and that and that'll cause it to change so you can attack it the issue though comes in when the final boss that you have to use the magic powder on uh doesn't have the um doesn't, like, have, like, the same shape or any, like, the same sort of, like, attributes than any of the other things that you've used magic powder on do. And usually, like, with some of the bosses, they'll give you a hint in text form as to what you have to do. But the final boss, it's just trial and error straight up. Um, I probably would... I, I was going for, for a completely deathless run. I probably would have gotten it, too, if I hadn't... Uh, I, I, I needed chat's help on it, because otherwise I would have I would have died right there. And I managed to get my deathless run complete. Anyway... So, finish that. That's my thoughts on Link's Awakening. Uh, it's a really good HD remake. Though I, I know I was saying a lot of negative things about the final boss. It's a really good HD remake, though. A lot of fun. Uh, very, uh, true to the original while upgrading enough and giving enough quality of life choices to... Um, uh, to or qual quality of life changes to, to like, warrant it. Especially if you've never played the original. I'd say I'd say it's probably it's it's a good uh, remakes are good for people who have never played the original games before and have trouble like getting a hold of them because I I think Link's Awakening uh, was available as like a free download on the 3DS and I don't think I don't know if it's ever been on the eShop since then um, I'll have to do some research and whoop, if it has or hasn't um, but anyway on Thursday uh, I had to do some errands I. I specifically ship out that graphics card because I, I managed to I don't know if I talked about this in the vlog at all but I managed to contact uh the manufacturer the other day and um we tried like I tried troubleshooting a bunch and at one point it's like I'm I've been at this for three days let me just you know let me just like use the warranty and get this repaired or get a replacement for the love of god so I did that and I'm hoping that it's not going to turn out that there's nothing wrong with the card, or they couldn't find anything wrong with the card, and they just ship it back and say nothing was wrong, and then I wasted the warranty. I hope they don't do that. They might. I hope they don't. But anyway, I shipped it back. I went to uh, to FedEx to ship it back, and I um, figured I'd also get some food there, so I went to uh, Mighty Fine Hamburgers and uh, ate there. And uh, they, had, they had a very interesting soda there. It was, I think it's called like Red Rush or something like that. It's a, it's basically a knockoff of Big Red Soda, and if you haven't had Big Red Soda, first off, it's, it's, it's like that fruit punch red color that make that makes you think that you're gonna get diabetes just by looking at it. Um, it is very red; it will stay in your tongue, um, and it's it's basically like just, just like concentrated sugar in a soda form. It tastes, it kind of tastes like like that fake bubblegum flavor, you know. 
it's it's really weird. It, it's it's something you have to try out for yourself at least once. Um, if you see if you're in like it's big in Texas. So you're, if you're ever in Texas and you go to a restaurant and they've got like they've got big red at the at the fountain, you know, take a little ksh of that, take a swig, and and tell me what you think. Really sweet, like way too sweet. Uh, but yeah, no, I I and really uh I I thought I hadn't been to a mighty fine before, but looking at the the decor inside there, I think I had gone there before with my dad on the vlog even. Uh, when he was visiting uh here, and we we had to go to. Why did we, we had to go to, to Round Rock for some reason. I thought it was be, I thought it was because we had to go to IKEA because IKEA is really close to that mighty fine, I think. But I I don't know. I, I seem I, I got a very vivid image of IKEA and and that hamburger shop in there. So I I guess I might have gone to Mighty Fine before. Uh, and then I stream Mario Kart with the Derp Crew. Uh, stream it in a way where I could easily put it on my main YouTube channel. Uh, so it doesn't have like all like the notification sounds or anything in it like that. Still went over the notifications at the end because you know gotta give a shout out to the the subs and whatnot. Which speaking of which, I I haven't done a verbal shout out to patrons in a long time. Uh, that'll be at the beginning of next month because I'm finally almost caught up with vlogs and it's great. Uh, but anyway, continuing on, I got a package the other day, um, and this is one of them. So give me a give me a hot minute to open this up. There we go. The uh, Nintendo Switch SNES controller. Um, I have the uh, NES controllers as well. So it's it's kind of interesting how they went about this. The uh, NES controllers were you'd get two of them in one package for sixty. The SNES controllers you get one for thirty. There's another box over there. That's the uh, that's the other SNES controller. So I bought. I, so I did buy two of them for the same price that I would have for two of the NES controllers. And uh, I think this would work really well on a bunch of different games. I think it would work well with uh, Tetris 99. I think it would work well with Mario Maker. Um, maybe Puyo Puyo Tetris. Although I, I saw, when I, when I mentioned uh, Tetris 99, I saw some people say that, uh, that you needed the right stick to target people. But I think you can do that without it? I think there are other ways you could target other people other players. I don't remember how, though. I don't know. You'd be probably playing at a handicap if you're playing Tetris 99 with that. But anyway, that's pretty neat. Uh, I can't wait to give this a shot on some of the uh, the uh, SNES games that they have on there. And Mario Maker. Mario Maker would be... Mario Maker would be a godsend with this. That'd be awesome. Um, maybe only Super Mario levels, though, because the uh, the Mario... Oh, no, you can hit R to uh, to do the spins. You don't have to uh, to shake... The, yeah, okay, no, it would work with all across all Mario Maker levels. Yeah, neat. Not sure about 3D World. I think it would work with 3D World. But anyway, today uh, I'm going to be recording more Fire Emblem. I was going to do that on Monday, but then my computer broke. And then I was troubleshooting for three days, so I never got around to recording it. And now I'm finally getting around to recording more episodes, and hopefully I'll have a new episode uh, ready for Monday, because usually I record on Monday... Uh, and by then I'd be a week ahead in recordings. I'd only be four days ahead in recordings this time. So hopefully I can get that. It is Monday, and, uh, well, I want to show you guys something that's kind of exciting. You see all that rendering there? That is every vlog that I need to catch up on. But I'm not done that yet. What I have here in the timeline is this week's vlog. And all that's missing is the clip that I'm recording at this moment. At this moment in the context of inside the recording, not at this moment as in while you're watching it. But yeah, I finally got caught up on every single vlog. Every single vlog. So from here on out, I'm going to be doing my best to keep up with editing them. Probably on, uh, probably start like editing them on Sunday so we can have them out for patrons on, on Tuesdays. Oh no, I can't do that. I'd have to edit them on Monday to have them out on Tuesday for patrons on Thursday. Or on... How was I, how was I releasing these again? I don't remember. Anyway. Don't matter none. It doesn't matter none because I'm finally caught up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll do a better job at uh, staying up to date on them as well. Um, which will be a little bit easier until I'm... Until like the, the release schedule actually catches up with it, which probably won't happen until end of October, beginning of November. I'm not entirely sure on that one. But anyway, 
Uh, the past few days, I actually did uh, stream something using my gaming PC. And I know I said earlier in the week that it's like, well, it's out of commission because I can't do that. Well, I'd found my old uh, 980 Ti. 1080 Ti was for my uh, my um, streaming computer, for my like recording computer and editing computer. That, that's what I've got the 1080 Ti in it. Um, and maybe I probably should have put the 980 Ti in the streaming computer and t took out the 1080 Ti and put that in the gaming computer, but logistics, figure it out later and whatnot. But I streamed Skyrim on Sunday. Uh, Saturday I didn't stream at all. I kind of like took the day off for that one. Uh, and I've been kind of like waking up late as well, so uh, I've just been, I've been lazing honestly, and that's not good when, when there's still so much to do. But yeah, I got Mario Kart out, I got Fire Emblem out, and... Pretty, pretty pretty well caught up on uh, on on uh, on on content for now. Uh, tonight I want to finish editing um, stream highlights from last week and custom smash for uh, for patrons, so I can go up on Sunday, Sunday Saturday. Um, so yeah, get into all of that. And uh, currently I'm having myself a lovely snack of uh, of grapes, but they're not just any grapes. These are frozen grapes. Frozen grapes are 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 awesome. <laughs> They're like it's like it's like eating a, a slushy in a pod. So to those of you watching this in the Tide Pod generation, go nuts with grapes, not Tide Pods. But anyway, um, I started eating these as a snack. Um, I think I mentioned frozen grapes on the uh, on the vlog before, but I started eating these as, as a snack because um, uh, my uh, my mother would want um, she uh, when when she would drink uh, drink wine she'd put ice in it and then but then like you know she drank it slowly and the ice would melt and it would dilute the flavor so she wanted something that would um, cool the drink down without diluting the flavor and something that would pair well with the taste of wine so what better thing than grapes and they're really good um I'd say the best snack for like a hot summer day which is the exact opposite of well not the exact opposite but um we've been having this weird cold front in Texas lately at least in, in the Austin area where it's um I think like at lowest it was uh, during the day it was around like 55 degrees I think it's getting slightly warmer as, as time goes on, and but I don't know how long this cold front will last. But it's just kind of a sign that we're kind of entering the winter months. Um, and I mean, like, it's not bad. Like, Texas winter is, like, super mild compared to where I came from. Uh, unless it snows at all, because then they have no idea how to deal with it. Well, it's not that they don't have any idea to deal with it. It's just that there's nothing that goes towards dealing with snow... Because it's such a rare occurrence here. And oddly enough, the first December I spent in Texas, which is before I started the vlog, I was still living uh, living out of a um, golf spare bedroom, was, uh, it snowed. It snowed like early December when my parents came down to visit. So that was, uh, that was very, uh, very, a very interesting time in my, in my life there. Anyway, um... I want to get stream highlights of custom smash, fin smash finish. I want to finish editing this vlog that you're currently watching. And I kind of want to clean up the room a little bit here, because, uh... uh it's, uh, it's not looking too great. It's not looking too great. Oh, man, I brought it back! Whatever. Full circle. Whatever. Oh, that was a dumb joke. I don't apologize, though. Cleaning up around here already. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this week. Next week, let's see, the 15th through the 21st, I got nothing going on, really. Nothing going on that much at all, honestly. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this yet. Well, it'll be on the vlog at some point, and, you know, I'll probably be tweeting out about it and whatnot while it's happening. But on um, November 1st, I'm flying down to Georgia uh, to, uh, record with, uh, the Runaway guys. So, uh, that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. I think the week after next, I'm going to, yeah, the week after next, I'm going to a wedding, uh, with, uh, with Donna. So, uh, so that'll be fun. And in terms of the upcoming week, though, I got nothing. <laughs> anyway, I had a pretty good week. Uh, it was definitely an improvement over the end of last week where my computer kind of... But, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Hope you all had a good week, too, and I will see you all next week. Later!